Hello everyone. So my name is Shanu, and today we will start with the problem of Tower of Hanoi. So this is not a competitive programming problem only. This is a general problem, and you can see this. And for the coding part, skip to this part of the video. Okay, let's get started. Firstly, we will start with the problem statement. So the problem says we have three towers. Or pegs. The name given to these towers is pegs. Okay. So this is source peg. This is helping peg, and this is end or destination peg. Okay. So the problem is that right, we have these three towers, and in first tower we have discs. Okay. You may be thinking that what is this? This is a disc, but I'm making it this way because. It will make me easy to rub and move to another one. Okay. Discs are here, and what we are to do is we are to move. We are to move these discs from this tower to this tower with the conditions. Bigger one cannot be placed over smaller one, and. One disc at a time can be moved. Okay, so we are given these two conditions that we cannot place big disc over a small disc, and we can move only one disc at a time. Okay, so these are three discs: biggest one, smaller, and smallest. Okay, and I am to move these three discs from here to here with. One disc at a time. Okay, now this is an actual problem. If I move this one, then I cannot place this. So not allowed. If I move all three, then one disc at a time, not allowed. So let's see. Now we have to see how this type of problem can be solved. Okay, suppose we are given with these two discs, and I am to move these two discs from here to here. Okay. Firstly, I love this. Suppose. I have to move these two discs from here to here. Okay. Now, what I can do is I can move this disc from here to here, and then move this bigger one from here to here, and then this smaller one from here to here. I successfully move one disc at a time. Smaller is never below any bigger one, and From source to end tower, I moved all discs. Okay, so what I did, what I actually did, this biggest one will be firstly entered to this, and then all above will be entered to this. Okay, if I have to move this number of discs from here to end, then firstly I'll move all above discs from here to helping one. Then this. Bottom most from here to ending one, and then these all remaining from here to ending one. Okay, so that's what I did here. Suppose I have three discs now. Suppose I have three discs now. So I have these three discs, and I have to move all these three from here to here. Okay. Now, I know that if I have to move all these three from here to here, so this one will move to here first. But to move this one from here to here, I am going to move all this from here to here. So now, there is a sub problem that how I can move this set of two discs from here to here. So now you focus on this two only. Okay. Now these two are. Suppose I am to move these two from here to here, so I am to move this one from here to here. So the smallest one to this position, okay. And now, now I am to move this disc from here to this, and then this from here to here. Successfully, I move. These two discs that were available here, from here to here, and now I move this one from here 
to here and now again I am to move these two from here to here okay so to move these two from here to here I am to move these two from here to here so I move this smaller one from here to here then I'll move this bigger one from here to here then I'll move this smallest one from here to here problem solved three discs move from here to here without putting any bigger one on the smaller one and moving one disc at a time okay let I moved n minus one discs from here to helping one then last disc from here to destination and the disc from helping pen are moved to end again now let's move to a standard result okay suppose I have okay so suppose I am to move n discs from here to here and now I left one disc here that was bottom most and moved all rest of all n minus 1 discs from here to helping one and then this last disc from here to destination peg and then again these n minus 1 discs from helping peg to this end peg so again it will be n okay this is my entire approach now we are going to declare the function for tower of Hanoi that prints the statements that are actually instructions I will write a function that will take number of disks name of source tower name of helping tower name of ending or destination tower and will print the instructions that one need to follow to shift n number of disks from source peg to ending or destination peg with the help of a helping peg okay so there is a function named tower of hanoi that returns nothing takes number of disks name of source peg name of helping peg and name of ending or destination tag okay now here is the function okay simple the thing is that if n is greater than 0 then only I am to move the disk otherwise I am not to move the disk see if I have n disks okay and if I move this one then this one then this one then this 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 now n is 0 will be called to move is there any sense to move 0 disk from someone to someone no so if n is greater than then only what you are to do is you are to solve tower of Hanoi problem then move statement then tower of Hanoi ok I will make you guys to write these statements ok see how if these are 3 packs ok and if I have n disks here initially ok so I am given this now what I am to do I have to move n minus 1 disks out of here to helping one. So move n minus 1 disks from source with the help of ending one to helping one. I have to move n minus 1 disks from here to this. Now H is new end. So move n minus 1 disk from here to here with the help of this. Then when I move n minus 1 disk from this to this, 
I left with one disc here. After moving n minus one discs from here to here, I left with one disc here. Okay. Now, what I did, I moved n minus one discs from source to helping one, n minus one disc from source to helping one, with the help of this third one. Simple. Now I am to move this. Actually, there was one, two, three, four, up to n names or numbers given to the discs. So I'll make a statement that says move n disc. From source to ending. Simple. I moved n minus one discs from here to helping one. From here. Then I print a statement. Move this nth disc from source to ending peg. Now I'll make another statement that move n minus one discs from this helping one to the ending one with the help of starting one. Making sense? What I make? All right. Tower of n to be solved is from n minus one discs of h helping tower to this ending tower. Here's the statement. And then return. So if there is any disk, this means greater than zero. So it will do this. Otherwise, it will return directly. Okay. Simple function. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I'll make this. So here is my five nine tower of Hanoi problem C plus plus code. You can not it down. So, every function has three statements, two statements call another tower of Hanoi and one statement is to print, okay? So, for a tower of Hanoi of n disks, complexity is twice of tower of Hanoi of size n minus 1 because we call two tower of Hanoi's with n minus one disks plus one for a print statement, C out statement. Okay. For this, I can again write it like where this can be written as clear now. Further splitting it, I got okay. And now for this T zero, it's nothing. It's just returning. You saw we put the condition is greater than zero. So if n is zero then it will simply return the statement so it has no complexity so for t1 we can write 1 simply ok so we can say it will be twice of so it will be 2 raised to see when here is 3 2 raised to 3 and here will be 4 2 raised to 4 so for n minus 1 here it will be this plus 2 into 1 into 2 so 2 raised to n minus 2 plus 2 raised to n minus 3 and all the way to 2 raised to 0 here it was actually 2 raised to n minus 1 
एन टी एन माइनस एन माइनस वन सो इट वॉज एक्चुअली टी वन एंड हैज नथिंग बट जस्ट वन रिटर्न स्टेटमेंट ओके सो दिस इज कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ टावर ऑफ हेर प्रॉब्लम एंड वी कैन राइट इट लाइक दिस now because we have n here and it's just con constant term so we'll write it like this and this is actual complexity of this hit the like button if you like this video and let me know in the comment section below which was the important part you find really interesting and also let me know any doubts if you have in the comment section below make sure to subscribe my channel for more such interesting videos